Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal and this is Books Forever After where I sit on my floor, we talk about everything, all things books, and nothing but the books. Alright, so today <laughs> we're doing a June TBR. Coming off of the high of the weekend after we just finished the Ever After Readathon, which was a historical romance only readathon for two weeks from May 17th to May 31st. So that was my little creation. So I wanted to thank all of my co hosts that participated and all of the participants with this readathon. That was Hannah Blackwell, Monica for part of this book addict, um, Mama V for Mommy's Room Romance, Tara from Tara Talks Books, and Maggie from Maggie's Book and Stuff. Thank you guys so much for participating and co hosting in the live shows. They're really a lot of fun. And I will post their I will put their channels down below. And now we're on to June. <laughs> and I am a little... <laughs> I don't want to get burnt out from historical, but I will have some historicals. Um, it'll, I have some arcs. I have some more fantasy I want to read for June. And so let's just dive in. Now for to start off for our book club pick for the Mood Readers Book Club that I host with um, with April from Happily Ever April, we are reading the most anticipated fantasy book that I've had this whole year, which is a romantic book, which is The Throne of Honor and Blood by Jay Bree. This is book two in The Mortal Fates, and I am so excited. I, I hope there's a lot of growl. <laughs> there was like no romance in the first one. I highly recommend the prequel novellas too as well, as you know. That is the, the Scepter. And then sword. I think you can skip the sword if you want, but I just so so good. So I think book one. So book one, the Crown of Oaths and Curses, was like my favorite romantic of last year. So really looking forward to this. I was so excited that I was able to order the paperback because I know there were some issues with Amazon because you know Amazon and. <laughs> So the Kindle release version, there were some hiccups with that, and then finally the paperback was released, so I immediately, immediately ordered that, and now that I prime, immediately put it came in two, in two days. So I am so excited for this. That live show will be June 21st, I think, it's Friday, June 21st at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and that I'm gonna be on April's channel. So look forward to that and I hope you can join us. So just so good, so good. The enemies to lovers, the writing was really, really top notch in the first one. So I'm really looking forward to this. At the same time, I am always a little hesitant with book, with book two so, in the series, but looking forward to this one. Next is one that I had just finished. Um, so what I was currently reading, I just finished yesterday, was The Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. Um, so I'm filming this on June 3rd. So I spent the weekend after our readathon ended on Friday. So I spent the weekend just decompressing and reading what I really wanted to do. Because surprisingly, when you're in charge of a readathon, you don't get to read as much <laughs> because you're doing all the, th all the things to host the readathon. So it was just kind of kind of funny how that turns out, but I had a lot of fun still and I just really, really looked forward to bringing everyone together. But yes, this was my reread of this book two, Into From Blood and Ash Years by Jennifer Armortrout. And I am rereading. I read the first three last year, like all of January. And so I'm rereading because I want to get to the War Two Queens. So vampire, fantasy, gods, goddess, you know, it's very, very hyped. So I want to read, so I just finished that one and I'm hoping to get to this one. If I do read The Crown of Gilded Bones, which is book three, I will probably read this more towards the end of the month. I do have some sort of procedure thing happening this month, so usually when that's happening, I'm usually, ironically, I have a lot more time, but I usually don't want to read, so <laughs> we'll see how that is. But yeah, I have that coming this month, so we rid of that. So I've read this one, so this will be a reread for me as well. So this whole series is obviously like a five star for me. And I might actually reread this um, via audiobook and I'm going to try to be immersive read um, and then also just like tan and read or reading the audiobook and picking up the physical book when needed and, and that kind of thing. 
next I just checked this out for, as an ebook from the library. Um, this is called These Hollow Vows. This is a YA fantasy. Has a I just finished it over the weekend as well, so I don't know. Yay me. I started it, I think, the last week of the readathon, a few days before the readathon ended, and it was good. Um, it was four stars, so this little uh, little peek behind the curtain for that. So this is kind of like, it's like a love triangle. There's a human woman, um, human girl that goes to this vague world. She has a best friend, and she is trying to... Uh, save her sister. She, her sister was kidnapped and trying to save her sister so she's being protected by her friend. Um, in this world there's like this weird bachelor twist to it, like the bachelor twist, um, which is really a wider part so it was, that was kind of strange. Um, and she's torn between an Anseli and a Seely prince so as you can tell it's very, um, it, it gives little Akatar vibes a little bit. Um, but not necessarily there. It's a YA, but there is a spice scene um, that isn't as detailed, but there is some on the page a little bit. So we have that. So it's good so far. Um, I'm going to. I'm actually currently reading book two, which is these twisted bonds, um, and it's a duology. So that is actually what drew me towards it because being in the middle of so many series, it's nice to be able to quickly just only read two books of this series and be done and not be so committed to a long drawn out series. I am about 25% in progress with that. And then next I have an arc. It's called An Ocean of Sin and Starlight. I was accepted for the arc. Um, this is like book two in the series, but it's actually standalone, I believe. But it's related to, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but I'll post a picture of that. It's related to this one. So it's not in a series, but it's related to standalone. If you haven't read this one, then you might be spoiled on some parts, um, that's what the author said. So I will be getting an e-arc of this one. So I'm hoping to get to this one this month, but I might not get to it until I think it releases this month. And because of the delays and things like that, we're not obligated to post as quickly, but try to post around the release date so my reviews so though we'll see how that goes I have a lot of commitments this month <laughs> or a lot of books I want to get to so it's uh, it all depends on the timing and then the other book that I really want to read is because the book two is going to be released in July end of this month of June and I've been hearing a lot of hype but I've been hearing about like before it was traditionally picked up I was hearing things about it last year but I just wasn't um I didn't want to start a new series, so like <laughs> the same old thing is like I just really want to. I'm sorry if you can hear the music. I have really noisy neighbors with the music, but this was like the Embatchways Bay series. It's called "How Does It Feel" by Janita O'Reilly, and I hear that this is like really good and very unhinged. I guess a little bit. <laughs> What really intrigued me is like is a Hunger Games kind of s kind of thing where she has to go into these trials or trials kind of situation. So I really like those kind of books where there's trials and things like that and just enemies to lovers kind of thing. It's all the romantic goodness of you know the typical tropes. So we're looking forward to this. I don't know much about it. I kind of want to go into it a little bit blind. So but yeah. And then I do have a couple of historical romances that I may or may not get to to kind of split through to break up all the the romant the fantasy and these are series that i've been in the middle of so this would be book two of the since for all seasons novel this is when i do love the woman by lorraine heath um i read the first one a couple months ago so i just kind of want to i think this is a six book series i just want to get through all these series i'm in the middle of this will be my third or fourth time reading lorraine heath and i still haven't gotten to like a four or five star yet so they've all been kind of three stars so hoping that is for me. I think I scratched that. I think the first one was a four star. I can't remember, but I haven't really found one that I really loved yet. So hoping that I really like this one. And then next I have one of my new favorite authors, <laughs> but um, that is The Duke by Kerrigan Byrne. This is book four in the Victorian Rebels series. Now book one was a six star, as you know, as I mentioned <laughs> ad nauseum on my channel, was inspired like within the ever after readathon was one of my favorites and book two and three were four stars for me so none has been five yet 
but the book two was The Hunter and book three was The Highlander. The Highlander was really good. There's just something, just a smidge wasn't the best of my, or my favorite. But besides that one, this one is a second chance. And as you all know, second chance is my jam. So I hear that people that loved and loved the, the Highwayman, that this was their second favorite. And so I want that to be me too as well. <laughs> All right, and next I have a little bit of a fun thing is I want to, I have a little bit of a, a wheel here and I want to start <laughs> reading more of my YA fantasy series that I have here and I want it to be a completed series. So I want to start, even though I just said I don't want to start series, I want to get through these to see if I actually like them and you know, and make room for my shelves if I need to, but I've been wanting to get in a YA series, I'm in the YA mood, so why not? So I have a spin wheel here, <laughs> and I will do that here for you, and we will see what series I will start. So there's about, I think, 12 here, uh, 12 series I have. Um, I will show that for you on the screen, and I will spin the wheel. I probably won't re screen record because I the whole thing is just kind of weird but <laughs> but yeah so we will we will do that and we'll just spin the wheel and see if this will work if I could just show you this way dark elements I literally just got this okay hold on a second Okay, so I literally just got this series for my birthday. <laughs> and so, um, I'm such a stan for Jennifer L. Armitrow, just from the From Blood Nash series and like the Flesh and Fire series that I just started on that one as well. And as her adult series, I wanted to go and read some of her YA series because I just love her angst and her drama and just her writing is just really fun. So I have this and <laughs> I did pick up the Storm and Fury series, so whatever that series is, and realizing that a lot of people, it's related to this series and that she should technically read this one first, so we're reading this one first. So I'm really excited because <laughs> I want to read this one. It is White Hot Kiss, um, and this is has, I think it has like Academy kind of a situation, and it has something with gargoyles, and it's like a paranormal like urban fantasy I think um but yeah I don't know much about it but I really really want to read this and I have the whole trilogy so that is kind of my thing with this whole spin the wheel thing is try to read the series and once I'm done with the trilogy start the next one and so with this one I probably will start the following trilogy as well um but I have quite a bit as you saw I have 12 on there so the faster I can read these, the, the, the better it's going to be. So looking forward to that. And usually YA is just easier easier to read or the speed is faster. And so for me, that just helps me get out of a slump because I am a slower reader. So reading these will help, I think, as well and get me excited about, you know, reading fantasy and all that kind of stuff when I'm reading these really really epic fantasies and things like that as well so yeah really looking forward to that one and then I want to as you know I don't read that many <laughs> books a month maybe eight but I do want to help get me started on if those two options of the series that I'm continuing to also make it easier for me because to decide of an author of a historical romance author to read and sometimes I just get paralysis of the analysis and I'm such a mood reader that sometimes I just want to decide it for me a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to do that. Okay, so here we go. We have, I have about 24 here and I never got a chance to do this because of everything this earlier this year, my schedule and my personal, my personal schedule got all back. So I haven't really been kind of went on a hiatus a little bit so I have like 24 historical romance authors a lot of basically all the authors that you have here in my front um, living room 
and those were the ones that I want to focus on trying to read. So I also still have some of the authors like Julia Quinn and Lisa Klapis and Kathleen Woodowis that I want to read their backlist as well. So they're all kind of mixed in here um, to kind of help me out. So over explaining but let's let's do this because i don't want to waste a trip green record that's going to take me way too long to edit it so this is lazy crystal <laughs> we'll spin if it'll spin yeah. i have it muted so now it's gonna not show okay steph and home okay one second okay this is actually gonna turn out fine because I only own one book by this person and I want to read it. So I was actually recommended to me on one of my favorite videos by a subscriber and because I love True Love by Millie Criswell and that's a western and I haven't found a western that I loved, they told me to try this one by Stefan Holt. It's called Portraits. If I loved True Love by Millie Criswell because I guess it gives me the same vibes. And lo and behold, soon after I found this at a library sale. So it was just like the fates have provided. So that is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna read this one. I know nothing. Um, apparently there is a only woman photographer in Eternity, Colorado. Her dream of studying in a renowned Italian academy precludes courting. Men don't intimidate her, though nothing prepares Leah for the purely physical attraction she feels for Wyatt Halloween, the stranger in town. So he had been an outlaw in his youth and he paid time for it and he wants to live a quiet life on a ranch with Leah as his wife but her big city ideas contradict his plan especially when she discovers that a bullet from his own gun may have murdered her mother long ago. Okay that sounds like a drama and I love it. <laughs> So hopefully this will be good. I really look forward to, to trying this out this month and yeah I have three historicals and just a whole bunch bunch of fantasies and last but not least <laughs> i have a vlog collab coming out i think we're posting on june 25th i think june 20th no, june 20th and it is part of the unstuff your kindle fortunately time travel was our first one and it didn't turn out so well so i couldn't the ones that i were reading was reading was we're all done so this is part of her kind of collaboration idea is just to do an open up to all booktubers and so this month is the color the purple on the cover and so that will definitely I think because it's such a a very simple like thing on a cover and such I think it'll c cover a wide variety of different genres and such so we have that so I'm hoping to read at least three books in that at least probably one of those like a novella just to kind of clear my clear out my kindle i do have an arc that does have a purple cover on it that is due in july so that it will help me as well i don't usually sign up for many arcs but this one is for book sirens and i will post that one there so i know that one will be part of it um and then i'll find two others maybe another historical or possibly a fantasy or so we'll do um make that decision on the vlog that i will be on the vlog video and we'll pick those selections during that vlog. So I think that's it. So comment down below in the comments what book you're really excited about reading this month. As always, I'll have my links down below, my Goodreads, my Instagram, and my Amazon wishlist. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.